Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play and today I'm here with Insanity. Matthew. Oh, sorry. Matthew, come on! What the heck was that? Oh. My Skype was lagging. I didn't hear you. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> Alright, anyways, uh, we're going to be building a bedrock vault, guys. And you guys are probably like, what are all these chests over here? These are all of Big Daddy Mark's chests. We're actually going to move back to our old Big Sanctum base. And uh, since all... There are Pelotors up there right now. Since, um, I mean, the spawner plugin hasn't really been fixed yet. Hold on, guys. Let me fix my mic. This is being really, really weird right now. Um, ingot. So since the spawner plugin hasn't really been fixed yet, we don't really find a reason to move as of right now because we do have to move all of a, a bunch of our stuff over here. And then we were like, you know what? It's not even worth it. Um, we're just going to keep this base until it gets fully rated. I mean, it, it hasn't been breached yet. I mean, I'm assuming that it will soon enough. So, I mean, we're kind of just rolling with it for right now. But what we're going to do for today's episode is we're going to finally build our bedrock vault. So I'm lagging for some weird reason. Why am I lagging? Anyway. Anyway, so I've got a stack of bedrock plus 23. Matthew, how many bedrock do you have? Um, 42. 42. So 42 plus 64 plus 23. Alright, so we have 129 bedrock to work with. Is Snix on? I know Snix has another stack of bedrock on her, but she's offline right now, so we can't really finish it. So let okay, let's just say, Matthew, we have 129 bedrock pieces to work with. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to hop onto one of our friend's build servers, and we're actually going to test build a vault and see how many um, actual chests we can, oh my god, we can fit inside. And then we're going to go from there. And then hopefully, I mean, we're going to try to teach you guys how to make it uh, glitch proof. We're going to try to show you guys how to make it perfect. So we're going to go on the build server right now. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys the IP, but I'm just going to join that build server. Are you ready here, Matthew? Yeah. Op Insanity. So uh, Insanity has got to be opt. And then let's go into GMC game mode C. There we go. I'm in creative now. All right. So let's get Obsidian. Or not Obsidian. Bedrock. Bedrock. So what are we? So this is this is all you. You're the one who kind of planned all this. So you talk right now. This is your chance to sign, Matthew. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I thought you just said so we could, and then Hold you on. stop. So we have so, 129 pieces. So we need to be able to count everything. I'm. If this is not glitchable, we could have a lot of chests. All right. But it's not gonna be watered. So there's gonna mean? be a risk. Well, why wouldn't it be watered? So like we could have more chests. Or right, like, let me. Does this server have world edit? It does. All right. So let's go. Um. Are we Are we doing this in the end? Where are we doing this? Where are we gonna put uh, this? Uh. Whatever you want. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it? Is this a trap chest? Yeah. It's a trap chest. That's what I thought. Okay. So there we go. Or There's... do you want to make it four long? So we could have two double chests here. Yeah. Do that. Let's do that. Yeah. We just have to make sure we have enough bedrock in order to actually. Uh, build it and then the outside are we gonna we're gonna protect the outside right like it's gonna be fully glitch proof yeah, yeah. all right so there's one two three four five six um, and how high are we gonna make it um well uh, maybe another chest on top of this and then because we're gonna kind of see how how many we can fit because i'm not really sure um like, okay. like will this take up too much i'm pretty sure this won't Right. But this is a lot of room, so this yeah, should be fine. Yeah, this should be fine. Let's we'll try it out. We'll see what happens. Um let me see, put this here. So yeah, guys, we're kinda just planning this as we go, as you guys can see. How many chests is this, Matthew? Wow, this would be a really cool vault. So and one, then two, we three, have... four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty four, and then another four on the bottom, twenty eight, and then twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six. 36 chests? Four? Oh, wait, I'm counting it yeah. wrong. One, Whatever. Four times four. One, two, three, four. Four times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four times eight. 32. There's 32 chests in here now. And uh, we're going to try to make our vault this big. So there's going to be 32 double chests. And Matthew, we need to start counting the obsidian. So we got to place the obsidian smart. Better. So let's do okay. How many? How much did we have? Let me pull up my calculator. We have 129. So let's let's say we have 130 bedrock, right? So 130 yes. divided by two is 65. All right, you play 65 pieces. I play 65 pieces. Okay. Okay. Why did you have to make it up in the air? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now I have to freaking build all the way up. All right, let's do that real quickly. What do you mean? Just like All right, this. place 65 pieces. Ready? Two, all right, three. count on your head. Count on your head. Uh, I love. Oh wait, okay. You know what? Just uh, let's let's just place it because we could do replace near, and then we'll see how many bedrock we use. Okay. Well, okay, so we'll we'll try it this way first. So I'm gonna try to use the least amount of bedrock as possible, obviously. Make sure you like cut off the corners. So like, if if the, if there's a corner that doesn't really need to be protected, cut yeah. that cut that one off. And then so we'll use the least amount possible. Hopefully, this is gonna be less than the. Uh, the one you have? Yeah, the one that I have. This uh, it's gonna look like a perfect cube, actually. This one. No, you can't do this. What do you mean? You gotta place it like one higher because we can't access the chest. Oh then... man, that's true. So like this. Yeah. Oh, that that's gonna use up so much space, but it's fine. We'll deal with it. Um, like this. And then close that off. Cut that corner off. We don't need that corner. And then like that. Good. That good. What about this? Oh, that corners we need. So we need those corners. Let's check the bottom. Do we need to cut off anything here? So those protect those chests. Those protect those chests. All right. So basically, what we did, guys. So the best part or the best way to plan out your bedrock vault is probably to go into a single player creative world that you guys uh, can make on like you know just any single player Minecraft world, and then plan out your vault beforehand and make sure when you guys are actually building the vault, be careful where you place bedrock because once you place bedrock, if you mess up once, that's obviously a really really expensive piece of bedrock to. Uh, uh, to uh. lose and obviously you're not going to be able to mine it so be careful where you place everything be careful where you you do everything and then um yeah so let me do this matthew slash slash replace near uh let's do 20 bedrock zero so let me see how many we use we use matthew we use a 1802 no we didn't oh under, that's slash, the one under. Yeah, yeah 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 okay i was about to say i was like wait what that's not possible do like 10 dude i'll do 10 replace near 10 bedrock <laughs> zero i was about to say we use 121 blocks okay that's good that's that's not even two stacks okay but slash slash undo yeah. but what so that's 120 so, like this so we have it? an extra we have an extra seven block eight blocks we have an extra eight yeah. blocks so come here uh -huh. so if i uh creeper this Mm -hmm. Or whatever. Uh huh. It's gonna break these chests. So what we have to do is what make the this. Heck? We have to make this water, and then we're gonna have to make it glitch proof. All right. So how do we do that? Hold on. All right. So, so if we do that, how do you? Wow. How come those break like that? Like, what if we just put? What if we just put another another uh, layer of obsidian? Obsidian. We, or either obsidian or um. Either obsidian or bedrock. What do you think would work better? Obsidian, uh, bedrock. Because bedrock. Okay, so then we'll have to. We'll probably have to borrow Snix's uh, stack that she has. So then let, let me count no, this off. We put what? this water. So we put here. I'll show you. Okay, go ahead. Hold on. I have. You're. Are we gonna water our entire base? Yeah. We make like a layer or whatever. Uh huh. It's kind of hard to explain, but then uh, after this bedrock, there's water, and then there's obsidian. So 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 there's so after so like this so should we put a, a huge cube around it? Does do you know if a wither breaks bedrock? Uh no they can't. They can't. Okay so we'll do a huge cube, but then we have to be careful with the water because some people might be able to glitch in. Yeah, that's why we have to make it glitch proof. All right, so how do we do that? Just uh wand it or whatever. Wand what? Like make a cube, make it like a cube. Oh this one? Yeah, and then I'll put water. All right, so let's do that. Uh, set slash set obsidian, I think. Yep, there. Okay, so like that. Make it a bit higher. Okay. Okay, so as you guys can see, we're kind of just messing it around, messing around with our designs on a survival creative server. That's probably the best thing you can do before you guys actually make uh, something like this. I mean, uh, the best part you can do or the best thing you guys can do is to just to plan everything. Like if you guys plan it, wow, you, I, th I thought you said you didn't know how to do that. <laughs> what the heck? Why did you make me okay, do Okay, you do that wall. I'll do this wall. <laughs> what the heck? All right. So, Boom. going across... Oh, that was like perfect, Matthew. That was like perfect. Set obsidian. All right, so so now we have this cube here. Now what? 
Uh, we make like one layer or over here, or one. like for a bottom. Uh, bottom. Okay, a bottom layer. Did you do it? Okay. Yeah. Well, now I gotta get through. And then uh, -huh. uh, I'm pretty sure we have to do water here. So like, if they try to creep rag it, it won't work. All right. So water. So just water everywhere. Should uh, should we even have a roof? Um. Should, or should the roof be like above it? What do you think? I uh no, yeah there should no no roof. No roof? Are you sure? The, but then they'll be the, okay. So we'll we'll, we'll have to test. We'll have to this test. Hard. We'll have to test if they can TP glitch. So let's do that. Okay. So um go into survival mode. Hold on, I'm gonna see if this uh breaks the chest. All right, so how you guys fix this little these little spots right here? So I'm obviously using obsidian or bedrock, but all you gotta do is like make two building blocks, like I just did right there, and then put a little chest, and then it'll fill up that hole that was missing. A uh... all right, try to TP to me. Uh, okay, give me one second. Uh, should I do I have to deep up? No, TP insanity. Did um, you get in? Okay. I'm in the water. Did that's wait? Okay. Let me go into let me go into game mode or GMS GMS. TP insanity. I'm inside. God dang it. Okay, wait. That TP on. glitch is slash back. Yeah, that, you, that TP glitch is because the, the closest the closest air air spot is what would be inside. So we need to make like a we need to make like a um how do I say it? We need to make um a spot where they can't actually uh, TP glitch through. Like we they can't be, we they can't place so like, water there or something. Um, hold on. Like we need to make an air pocket somewhere, so then. Try to TP to me now. TP insanity. Well, uh, hold on. Game mode. Game mode survival. TP insanity. I'm inside. Uh, okay. Try now. I'm. I'm still inside. No, did you TP to me? Yeah, I'm still inside. Ah, uh, so what would we do? There. Okay, wait. So what we're going to have to do is what if we just remove all the water? So slash slash room, uh, replace near water. 10, but then they 10, could creeper egg that. All right. So then what we're going to have to do then. Why would they creep? Oh, there's no point in creeper egging it though. If So let's just do this. So let's use more bedrock. So let me count this out. So one, two. Th whoops. Let me go into creative GMC. All right. So one, two, three, four five six seven eight so that's there's eight per corner so eight sixteen thirty two or eight sixteen twenty four thirty two so we're gonna need another thirty two pieces of bedrock all right let's see if it'll break just like this all right hold on hold on let me let me let me place the rest of the corners all right try that now go into survival or oh, you're just gonna do that okay i'll go inside go all the way test all the way around uh, do I need, I need to actually get inside first? Hold on. Tell me if it breaks any of the chest. Uh, how do I get inside here? I think it's slash slash through. There we go. I'm inside. Okay, go ahead. Just bu just put a bunch of creepers everywhere. Let's just put put your god mode on. God insanity. Okay, slash GM. I got. It. I, I already got it. Just and then stay in survival mode. Then just put creepers everywhere. See if we can find an explosion that'll explode these. All right, nothing. So, oh, it exploded a chest at the top. At okay. the top? Yes, uh, at the top. So maybe the middle chest actually exploded. So we might have to put, uh, let's put just just put normal obsidian. But then they could wither that if. But the they're not going to be able to wither it if uh, if it's in claimed land, or actually they might. So yeah, bedrock again. Wow, this is going to be a lot of bedrock. We're going to have to do. All right, so. Um, this has this has to be basically has to be a cube, so one two, uh, we'll just have to do slash slash replace near again to see if uh, we can replace. We'll see how many we're at. We're gonna have to borrow a lot of bedrock from Snix, because I'm, I'm pretty sure she has a lot already, okay. so that should be fine. Did I protect um, this corner? I did not. Oops. All right, let me do that real quick. Slash fly. Okay, let me see. Let's see if I got this nice and perfect. Ready? Right, I think I have everything. Wait, what is this? This is not even either. If I break this, is there a chest here? Yeah. All right. 
<clears throat> Alright guys, we're gonna pause the video really quickly and Insanity has to go do something as you guys just heard somebody calling him really quick So we'll be back in one second. All right guys We are back and we had a little bit of a discussion and what we're gonna why, what are, you, why are you dropping your mic over there? What the heck are you doing? Okay, I'm good <laughs> the heck? So anyways what we decided to do is we're just gonna make a perfect cube sort of thing and uh, This is basically because if we have this vault in the end and then have all the land claimed around it they shouldn't be able to actually uh, creeper egg it, or they shouldn't be able to glitch through it if, if the land is claimed properly. So as long as we claim about, I mean, a couple of chunks uh, around this uh, claim, it should be in a, a perfectly unraidable vault. So what we're going to do is we're just going to complete this. We're, Matthew, we're probably going to, before we actually make this on... Um, before we actually make this on Factions Green, we're going to have to collect a, a little bit more obsidian. So, so uh, if you guys are on Factions... Obsidian? What? We don't need the subsidian on the side? No, we're going to we're gonna need more bedrock. Okay. So, if you guys are on Factions Green and you guys want to help out with our uh, huge vault that we're going to have... So as you guys can see, we're just kind of we're gonna make it into a perfect square. If you want to sell some obsidian, message me or Insanity on the server, just saying that you have obsidian to sell, and uh, we'll obviously buy it for the price that we always buy obsidian at, which is uh, how much do we buy obsidian for? A hundred or two hundred k each? Hundred k. Hundred k each. All right, so a hundred k each per obsidian. Now, Matthew, let's make it two hundred k. We have enough money. We've got the iron golem farm. So let's okay. make this into a perfect cube. Uh, help me, help me around. Yeah, just round out everything. And then let's see yeah. how much obsidian we'll need. So do this top portion here. Damn, this looks like a perfect cube. I thought we were gonna do some special shape, and obviously to prevent the people from glitching through, we're gonna have to do, we're gonna just have to make this into a perfect square. All right. So how, this magic, this is gonna be like 200 or 300. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Dang, that's a lot. Uh, slash slash replace near 20. All right, let's do 10 bedrock zero. 317 blocks. No, how about we like, hold on, place, re replace the chest, oh, I'm dying, like, cause we have extra bedrock that's in there, like on the sides. Oh yeah, that's true. And then so we can, we'll need we like less. Even, we can add even more. We can add even more like a chest. Alright, so hold on, I'm taking out the corners right now. So let's do that, let's do that first. And then we can make it, so we could try to, we could try to minimize it as much as possible. All right. Yeah, cause yeah. Let me let me place some chests down. So then, um, what's it called? So and then keep keep blowing on the outside. Okay. And see see if you can hit a spot where it blows any of these chests up. All right. So I'm gonna take off as much as possible on this inside layer then. And then we should. Did be good. did it blow anything else? Nope. Okay, then this is good. All right, hold on. I'm taking out all the extra pieces here. So we're going to have to kind of go through this meticulously, Matthew, off of camera to try to plan out everything perfectly. And then we and can we even put, have we even can, more chests. We could put, no, let's put water instead. Let's just water all the, all on the outside. So if they do break in here, this will eventually, uh, the water will break. Like, they might be able to get a couple of chests, but then um, the, water the, will water, fall. the water will fall. And, uh, and put protect some here, like right here. On the top oh. of the chest. Yeah. Alright, I got you. There we go. Excuse right. me? There. Place that chest. Alright, there we go. So we have one, two, uh, we have 32 chests in here. Let's see how many obsidian we use. Slash, slash, and replace. we can have this too. Or whatever. Uh huh. Well, slash slash replace near 10 obsidian zero. Oops. Right. Obsidian? What? Place near 10 bedrock zero. So we use 280 blocks. 280 blocks of obsidian, so we're gonna need. I think. Okay, we're. Let me message Snicks right now. Snicks. Snicks, how much bedrock do you have? Or did you buy? I think Snicks has like one or two stacks because she's been buying it because she's our like banker right now. Yep. So hopefully she'll be able to buy that. But that's basically how you go with with uh, building one of these vaults, guys. So I mean, the really the main portion that you guys want to do is 
well, kind of decide how big you want it, first of all. And then, ooh, look at this. Data wood is in there right now. So, and then after you decide how big it is, I could, do you guys hear that dog barking outside? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, figure out exactly how big you want the wall. Make a perfect cube in a survival world and just basically plan everything out. You guys need to meticulously plan this out just to use the least amount of obsidian. And, obviously, you guys are going to need to... Um, you guys are going to need to plan this out very, very carefully in order not in order to not waste any obsidian. So if if you make this base in the end, so like as you guys can see, if the, imagine that we're in the end right now with this full base. If you and guys are like if you guys are in the end and they can't like a lot like somehow get a lava onto on top of that base and they can't build anywhere around it then technically speaking you guys will have an unraidable vault there's no way they can break into this unless they somehow glitch through or if they glitch through they're obviously going to get banned as long as you guys have enough proof for that but yeah you guys will not be able to break through this uh, literally a bedrock vault and i mean uh, we, we're using what how many pieces did we use Matthew 200 but you guys could probably 280 pieces you guys can probably cut that down I mean you guys don't have to have a big of a vault obviously me and insanity need a really really big vault because we have all the kits to use We PvP a lot insanity PvP's a lot and then obviously all those other other little meticulous stuff that you guys have to take into account So your vault doesn't have to be this Matthew Snicks just messaged me. She has three stacks and 24 so Wait, and there's less to look at because there's blocks here or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Like this whole thing. Oh yeah. So then yeah. So let, let let's 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 see how far we can cut this down. So I mean, you guys just really have to plan it out and trim out your base and just test out all the possible ways that somebody could get in on a survival world. And then uh, once you guys test all of that out, obviously this is all you really really need to do. Wait, Matthew, why is there? Okay, there's two on that side, two on that. That's Hold perfect. On. But there's water there now, Matthew. That should save it. Hold on. All right, here. Let me go. Let me go through. Let me go through. Pop as many creepers as you can. Let me go through. Break. Uh, nothing's broken yet. Keep going. Yeah. So this is like. So this is basically what we need. So yeah, this is basically it for today's episode, guys. This is how me and Insanity planned our bedrock vault. We'll probably either in the next episode tomorrow or in the episode before or sometime this week before leading up to the 100th Factions Let's Play episode, we'll probably make a vault something like this on the Archon and we'll record it to show you guys how we do it. And then we'll show you guys exactly how to claim in order for uh, things to not be, I guess, bad things to not happen or something so yeah thank you guys for watching today's episode hopefully you enjoyed insanity is finally on skype and you guys i hope you guys can hear him very clearly thank you guys for watching make sure you guys check out the capture the wool announcement video that was made i think in episode 95 or 94 uh thank you guys for watching make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and we will see you guys later Bye bye